Breaking news. Return Nigeria to how you met it, or Allah will punish you. Shako tells Buhari, hello, my wonderful people, it's happening. An Islamic clergy who is clearly very upset with Buhari and some of the activities he's doing may be arrested. The new um, democracy we find ourselves under Buhari is no freedom of speech, no freedom of expression. You cannot speak your mind. If you do, you are in trouble. You cannot you cannot carry out your constitutional rights. If you do, if Buhari is not happy, you are in trouble. You talk about Buhari, channels, Arise TV, whatever media, you are in trouble. I mean, it's a lot. And so this Islamic clergy was just looking at all that is happening and said, excuse me, Buhari, why not return the country to the way you met it? I think the I think Islamic clergies, either they don't want to accept that there is really uh, a mindset with regards to which Buhari is operating, or they just choose to be, they just choose to ignore it that there is nothing going on. Listen, guys, Buhari does not see himself as a Nigerian, and so I'll give you an example. When a woman, for instance, bring, um, say, a young man and a woman are, you know, planning to get married, she got pregnant for somebody else, few days to their wedding. Then she comes to the husband and says, this child is yours. They get married and the man has no reason to doubt her. That child is not his. You know what will happen? Unknown to that child, there will be the quest for the true identity. And that will begin to make that child to misbehave. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Bandits, return Nigeria to how you met it or God will punish you. Islamic clergy tells Buhari, an Islamic clergy, Shaku Nurum, has criticized President Muhammad Buhari over the activities of bandits. Nurum, who is the chief imam of Apple Legislative Quarters Mosque, said God will punish Buhari if he fails to return Nigeria to the state he met it. The clergy noted that Nigeria has no challenge of banditry before Buhari assumed power. Good luck, Jonathan, was not doing so well, but was better. We preferred what he was doing for the country. Addressing Islamic worshippers during his sermon, the Imam vowed that God will punish Buhari if he fails to tackle the banditry. Buhari's presence brought banditry. Why? In a viral video, the Imam said, go and tell the president that under his government, some group of people are issuing threats to local communities, demanding that they should be paid some money, some amount of money or face attack. And they would gather the money and announce publicly on BBC, the bandits would be paid this Friday to avoid attack. Tell the president that there is a country we, we pledged allegiance to. And there is a part of the country we do not know, which is the govern which is governed by Bondit, and Buhari is the president. The president should either return the country as one nation, where bandits are not killing people, any anyhow, just the way he took it over from Good Luck Jonathan, or God will deal with him. Later, the activities of lately the activities of banditry has been on the rise in the country. Schools, worship centers has been major target of bandits in the northern part of the country. Several students and religious leaders have been adopted and killed by these bandits. Why heavy ransom has been paid to secure release of others. If the president does not return and turn from this evil, I promise him God will deal with him. This is this Islamic clergy who is really clearly upset. And I said to Buhari, is it that you retrace your step Put back, put the country just the way you met it. Okay, I, I don't, I don't understand why some people keep, you know, supporting Buhari in all of these things that are going on. If you speak, they said you have spoken what you shouldn't have said. That's the new order now. You speak, you become the new target. When did we get here? And what is going on? And why are all these things happening? It is wrong. People can no longer speak. People can no longer express themselves. It is when people express themselves that the government know that they are clearly wrong. 
and can begin to act. But they are telling you not to speak. Whether you like it or yes, be silent. How do we do that? Be quiet in the face of all that is happening. Be quiet. You are being killed. Be quiet. Don't defend yourself. Be quiet. Be quiet. Now, the governor of uh, 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 which of the states is saying to Islamic clergy, has told all Islamic clergy, anyone who speaks against Buhari will be arrested. That's the new, that's the new thing. Under democracy, nobody can speak. Nobody can criticize the government. How did we get here? And you know the funniest thing? The North is the one really taking the bunt of everything that is happening. And still, you know, they need to come together. But trust me, the elites in the North are enjoying. They are not going through what is happening. So they care less of all that is happening. So they don't really get it. The people paying huge ransom, they don't get it. The people have been impoverished. People selling, I mean, I keep saying it again and again. The video of the man in the north who said he has sold his car, he has sold his house as ransom for his two children that were kidnapped. Still, they have still not been released. And guess what? He's now living in his brother's house. A man that have a wife, that have children, you know what it means to live with somebody else? It's not like when you're living in your own house. There is a difference. It's not the same thing. It's not. It's not the same thing. Sadly, this is what is happening. Buhari is, he said they are repentant. The, uh, 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 all, all, all the arms of legislation that should be able to correct Buhari, they've intimidated them or they are in, a, or they are in partnership. Look at Ahmed uh, Baji Bamila. They invited Buhari to come and give account. Why is the why is the insecurity so much? They intimidated him. The guy kept quiet, and that issue died a natural death. So how do we solve this problem? It was the same northern youth that stood up and said, "How dare he ask Buhari to come and answer for insecurity?" They began to rise up against him. It's not because he's a center, but I mean, just stating it out there. It's sad. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.